Well, April is National Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Month, and sadly, the Valley is no stranger to pet abuse. The Arizona Humane Society sees nearly 7,000 cases a year. And in the last week alone, they rescued nine dogs from abusive situations. Here's Team 12's Tramai. This is Chowder, and like most 14-week-old pups, he likes to play and loves attention. As happy as he looks, he's unable to put any weight on his right hind leg. Chowder's leg is broken internally. A witness to the abuse called Tempe Police. Chowder was taken away, and his owner was arrested two days later. The owner knew what he was doing. He did it intentionally and caused the injury, so he's going to be charged with the Class 5 felony. A charge that could lead up to three years in jail. Tracy Miller, who's on the front lines for the Arizona Humane Society, says most of their calls are for high cruelty cases. In the past week, they've taken in eight other dogs from abuse cases. This is Clyde. His owner was arrested and charged with one count of animal abuse. The owner was abusive physically with Clyde as well, uh, causing broken ribs. Zoe and Buddy, along with their pups, were rescued and are safe now from their abuser. The owner had zip tied the snout of the mama basset hound so she would stay quiet inside the apartment. In turn, the mama wasn't eating well enough to feed her puppies with the right nutrition. Three separate cases of abuse from across the valley in just one week. Miller says if you see abuse, call police or the Arizona Humane Society. Even though it's your pet and it's your property, you can't treat it like a lamp or a TV and cause whatever type of damage you think is appropriate. The good news in all of these cases, each pet is getting a second chance at a better and safer life, including Chowder. This little guy, he's going to find a wonderful home and still live a great life. Tram I, 12 News. Mm, that's so sad that people would do such horrible things. Well, veterinarians are waiting to see if Chowder's leg will heal properly. Hopefully he can avoid amputation. And once he's healthy again, he will be available for adoption.